Hey, what's going on guys? Ravi here from Ira FX along with Mr. Zebo. Welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So in this video we'll be learning to make this impact effect or you can also call this a screen pump effect in a very easy way. So without any delay, let's get started. Alright, so I have a video in my project. Let me drag this video to the right side panel here so that a sequence is created with that video settings. Let me show you what this video has got. There's this lady, you know, kicking the punch bag like this and we'll be adding some impact effect as soon as she kicks here at this point. So the first thing that we'll do is to create a new item called adjustment layer. So I'll click on this new item button and click on adjustment layer and now i'll drag the adjustment layer onto the top of our video and i'll click on this razor tool so that we'll cut the adjustment layer so i would like to cut the adjustment layer as soon as she starts kicking in at this point here and then cut this as she moves her leg down and now i'll delete the adjustment layers that we have on the other sides so now I'll go to the effects panel and type in transform. So you have this transform effect in the distort folder of the video effects and just drag this onto your adjustment layer like this. So now I'll go to the first frame of the adjustment layer and click on this timer button here so that a keyframe is created for the scale property. And I'll move few frames forward where the lady kicks the punch back at this point I'll change the scale value to 150 and I'll move to the last frame of the adjustment layer and change this back to 100 so now if I start playing the video you can see that there's this impact effect applied to our video in order to make this look much appealing I'll just uncheck this use composition shutter angle and increase the shutter angle value to 360 so that we get a motion blur effect as the video zooms in and the next thing that we'll have to do is to enhance the effect by adding some you know color to it as the impact happens so i'll just go to the effects panel and type in invert and you have this invert effect in the video effects in the channel folder and just drag this onto your adjustment layer like this once you add this you can see that our video has some negative effect applied but I'll change this to um, red like this and I'll just increase the value of blend with original to around 70% just so that it looks like this you can all you can always tweak the value of the channel here depending on your requirements so um, in this case I'll just put this to red and now if I start playing the video this is how it's gonna look like and the last thing that you can do is to add some sound effect to it to give a greater impact so I downloaded this audio from production crate I'll attach a link in the description you can download it for free so if I start playing it this is how it's gonna look like I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on Instagram. Mr. Zebo, would you like to add something? Subscribe for more tutorials. Alright so see you guys next time with another tutorial.